Now, more than a million people have moved into relief camps in Kerala after the monsoon flooding in India that has killed more than 400 people. More, uh, many more are trapped by the floodwaters and are unable to reach shelters. Our Southeast Asia correspondent Siobhan Robbins has been out with soldiers trying to reach the worst affected areas. In Kerala, flood rescue is now a military operation. These soldiers have one main mission, to deliver aid. Today, they're trying to get to Allah, an area cut off by water. The food they're carrying may be the first thing many have had to eat in almost a week. Some certain places have been about seven to eight feet, and uh, we've encountered water level up to ten feet also. Wow. So for a normal person to get out of that water without any uh, boat or any aid has been not been possible. The closer to Allah we get, the deeper the water. It's too high even for an army truck. Okay. The only option is to carry on by boat. The troops fear people may be sick and in urgent need of help. They can't afford to wait any longer. Do you know how many houses are potentially affected in the area we're going to? This complete area is affected. Um, there would be almost about 10,000 to 15,000 houses. 10 to 15,000 houses. And yeah. we don't know how many people have got out. I don't know how many people have got out. As we sail towards the village, the soldiers whistle to let others who are marooned know that they're there. An elderly couple appears on their porch. Bread and toiletries are carried across to them. As we continue through the neighborhood, more people start to appear. Suddenly we spot a man on his balcony. He says he doesn't want to leave his flooded home. So supplies and fresh water are brought up to him. These areas are a huge concern to authorities because although they know around 800,000 people have now fled to relief camps, what they don't know is how many people are still trying to sit it out at home, how many thousands of people could be sick and stranded. When we finally reach the village of Allah, the residents are waiting. As news of our arrival spreads, more rush to get supplies. Survival packs are handed out to the waiting crowd. Some children in the village are sick and food is scarce, but they still won't leave for relief camps. Relief camp, there is more, more suffrage. They are suffering more because there is too much people. They are not, uh, there is no enough facility to accommodate this much people. The food runs out and there's still a queue, but people here are willing to wait. They know these soldiers will be back in an hour. Where future meals come from is far less certain. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News in Allah in Kerala.